Hi, welcome to Bollywood Life. I'm Anusha Iyengar and we're with one of the most beautiful people in the industry today, Kajal Agarwal. Welcome to Bollywood Life. Thank you so much. And uh, we're at the grand launch of her own app today. And so tell us a little bit about your app and how did you come about it? Um, well, uh, so I was approached by SKPEX, which is a US, US based company right. and in, uh, into gaming and a lot of other celebrity apps all over the world. They've made apps for people like Enrique and Paris Hilton and like a lot of uh, international clientele. And uh, when, when they approached me for this particular app, I was quite excited about the idea. Uh, it took me a little while to understand what it's all about because I don't usually uh, focus too much on technological things. But I'm glad I did because um, this is something which is just so convenient and it's at, like the touch of a button for me to interact with my fans, to keep in touch with the audience and to um, pass on messages very conveniently. And also the good thing about this particular app is that all my social media is going to now be finally integrated into this one platform. So it just becomes easier and more interactive. And uh, yeah, that's what was most, attractive, uh, most exciting for me about this app. And here I am, we've launched it. Okay, but a lot of, uh, so a lot of Bollywood celebrities also have their own apps, be it Salman Khan or Sonam Kapoor. Have you checked out any of their apps? Of course I have and I think they're fabulous. They're all doing very well. And uh, from our end, we've just tried to make it as different as possible, to make, make it as personal. And, um, you know, give it just about my life and my personality. Right. Yeah, try to make it as unique as possible. Okay, so why, what is that one app that you, you're obsessed with? Shazam. Okay, and one and app... And Swiggy. Any food app. <laughs> <laughs> which is that one app you can't stand at all? Is that an, is that an app for alarm clocks? Maybe that would be it. Like maybe when the alarm <laughs> rings, that's what I can't stand. <laughs> but other than that, not really. I don't have issues with apps. Okay. So recently, uh, Sunny Leone came up with her own uh, emoticons and Sonam Kapoor had launched her own digital stickers. So are you planning to come up with something like that in the near future? Well, I have a fabulous team guiding me and uh, mentoring me through all of this called Escapex. And they keep coming up with these brilliant, ingenious uh, ideas and really creative things to do. So uh, I am guessing, yes, we will come up with a lot more cool right. digital technological things. Okay, so is it uh, going to be a one-stop destination for all your fans? Like, will you be, will it just be about updating your fans about what you're doing, or will it be like, this is my look for the day, and this is yes, what I'm wearing? Yes, you're right. Actually, that's a very interesting point that you've brought brought across. Uh, it will be a one-stop destination for my fans, vis-a-vis okay. -vis me, and it, it's going to uh, be. Uh, as personal as possible. I'm going to be putting in as much personal information as I can and uh, yeah, make it exciting for people and things which are not usually out on the internet or things that you cannot usually put up on social media sites, it's going to be here. So we'll know whether you're dating or not? Of course you'll know whether I'm dating or not. <laughs> Is that a trick question? <laughs> do you want to know? Is that your point? <laughs> All your fans do. Well, no guys, not as of now. But when I am, you know where to find it on my <laughs> app. <laughs> Okay, uh, a few film related questions mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. uh, so what was it like working with Chiranjeevi and how was it different, you know, after having worked with Ram Charan? It was wonderful working with Chiranjeevi, sir. He is a powerhouse of talent, truly a legend that he's known to be. And uh, I consider myself extremely fortunate. I've worked with Charan, his son, uh, for yeah. a lot of films. And uh, working with Chiranjeevi, sir, was um, different and at the same time exciting and uh, a lot of fun he's one of the most humble and sweet and nicest people i know okay and uh, we heard that um, ajit uh, kept calling you kajal ji on the sets of yeah he's adorable <laughs> he's so sweet and he again um, he's such an icon for all of us and at the same time he's so grounded and so right. normal about things and so humble uh, I think his humility is a huge takeaway and uh, like one of the best things that I could have ever witnessed. And I'm really happy that I've had the pleasure to know Ajit sir. He is a wonderful person and uh, again, a fabulous actor. So you're also teaming up with uh, Vijay for uh, Vijay 61 and you're working with Rana Dagupati and uh, it seems like you take, uh, you're working with a lot of people you've not worked with before, except Vijay I think. Mm -hmm. So is it, a, is, is it a conscious effort? 
For me, mostly I choose scripts according to the content of the script right. and ab about my role. Uh, this is purely coincidental where it's happened that it's, it's my films, my lineup of films have been this way where I'm working right. with people for the first time. But um, it's not anything intentional or conscious. I mean, it's just happened to be this way this time around. Okay, and uh, I just need you to react on a few things. Okay. The Bahubali trailer. <gasps> wow, oh my God, love. I love Raj Mali, sir. And I love everything to do with his films. <laughs> uh, Khan joining politics. I wasn't even aware of that. Is that true? It's just, it just was in the news. Oh, I'm not. I don't know. Okay. Ajit's first look of Ivegam. Love struck. Now I'm only going to talk in app language and like emoticons and things like that. Okay. Because we're digitally really cool now. So we can afford to do that. So. The, you know those, those on your WhatsApp you have those, those the heart struck, man. love struck. Right. But it does, I was also... Love struck? Yeah, yeah, totally. I'm telling you. I, how would you describe your journey so far? And I would like you to talk a little bit about your role in Vivegam. I can't really talk about my role in Vivegam. Okay. Um, it's under very high confidentiality. Mm -hmm. But um, you will see things about it soon. I'm, I'll wait for the director to talk about it. But my journey, well, uh, my journey is um, a process of evolution, mm -hmm. I believe, and about growth and constant learning. And it's been this way for me since a very long time. And I believe that you've got to uh, learn and grow with every possible step that you take. And of course, I've made mistakes in the past. I've learned from them. I try not to make mistakes in the future or currently and um, well yeah I just feel like I've grown over the past few years that's yeah, thank you great. so much for being here with thank us you. thank you thank you so much for having me